arrive more forms that I have here after talking to my zoning officer today and um, from my conclusion is that the zoning is permitted to have it's a 2a so it's permitted to have two units however there's new laws rules and regulations that I need to meet now um, in terms of square footage, in terms of parking. And I feel like it's sad because um, the, the property did not meet, even though it belonged to a zoning where you can put in two unit, but because the property did not meet the square footage, the lot size square footage, and it didn't have four parking, which is required. It only has two parking. So I'm not able to. Now, what the zoning officer told me is that there's two things that I can do. One is apply for uh, zoning variance, and two is to appear for the zoning variance. Now, I've done zoning variances before. I've applied. I've paid for, you know, my contractor's time to be there, the engineer's time to be there, the blueprint, you know, to, to uh, have the proposal of what you're plan is to uh to to that property so if you want a two unit then you need a blueprint for that two unit so i've spent thousands of dollars in the fees for my contractor you know engineer the blueprint i've spent thousands of dollars and i've tried not one but two and they've denied me in all because number one i'm changing the character of the neighborhood and number two because uh, they they just blocked me so because of this um I'm not, you know, I'm a little bit sad because I cannot do. Hello, Sudhakar. Thank you for watching. Now, going back, I feel sad because I can't do much on this property. And the only thing that I can do is to uh, continue with a single family home. And today, today's cost to do a single family home renovation is very costly minimum i could sink in 150,000 on that property and it's not even very grand um if i am able to do a two unit then it makes it more doable to put in my money there right i'm actually zoning out i feel like i'm um not very clear but anyway if i put in two unit then i could get more bang for my money versus keeping it a single family and when i drop you know a minimum of 150,000 to do renovation we got this whole thing plus i have to purchase it from the sheriff you know a minimum of 100,000 then i'm already looking at a 250,000 now for you guys out there when you look at properties there is such a thing that i'm going to share with you a quick easy math to look at if the property is a good purchase so it's called the one percent rule me and my son george actually discussed the one percent rule so you can check it out from the previous video so what the one percent rule is is that um if for example in this particular situation after all red re the renovation after purchase the property is worth three hundred fifty thousand. now i am expecting that i could get a rent of three thousand five hundred from this property that's one percent rule so if i purchase the property renovate it with all in cost of three hundred fifty thousand, i could get in three thousand five hundred per month of rent now because this property i could not get a rent of three thousand five hundred per month so i'm kind of you know 50 50 should i sink my my money into this property or not so that's my learning lesson for you guys today so i'll be head i'll be headed shortly to my son's school where i will be reading them the books i've ordered several books to give away for my kids grade four and grade six so that's my next stop the busy life of an apartment investor and shudakar thank you for watching so stay tuned for more apartment prescription have a good day shudakar